ready? I'm addicted to cocaine. 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 Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a great week. And uh, we're gonna dive right into uh, the segue into upcoming videos. Now, what we're going to enlighten you on what's been going on behind the scenes, starting with this most recent phone call to Bellagio Security, as well as a couple other security uh, teams throughout the uh, Vegas. And uh, with that said, we're just going to dive right in. This is a very serious phone call. It's, uh, I say serious because it's kind of comical. You'll see how uh, ridiculous this guy is, the security manager at Bellagio. And, uh, well, with that said, we are going to just dive right into it. And again, this is all the master plan on finally getting rid of Christopher Mitchell's nonsense and bullshit from these casinos, ripping people off, right? So with that said, here's this uh, phone call. Pay close attention to it. It's very, very serious. And then uh, <clears throat> we're going to touch on some stuff after the phone call about what's going on. And uh, we are going to lead into the segue into tomorrow night's video. Uh, as far as Jason's sample goes. So with that said, here's the phone call. Hello, Bellagio Security, how may I assist you? Uh, I actually wanted to speak to a manager. You would like to speak to a manager? Okay, sir, what is this regarding? Uh, about a complaint. A complaint? Yeah, with one of your departments, so. Okay, would it be with the security department? Uh, no, no. No? Okay, uh, which department would it be uh, concerning? Uh, your investigations department. Okay, the investigations department? Yep. Okay, and if I may just get your name, sir. Uh, Kevin. I'm sorry? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. All right, Kevin. I'm going to put you on a brief hold and reach out to one of my managers, okay? All right, the uh, highest one uh, on duty right now, possible. Very well. One moment, please. Yes. All right. Thank you for being patient. I got my manager on the line. I'll be transferring transferring you now. Okay. Okay. All right. One moment, please. Hello, Kevin. This is Mike Galkey, security uh, day shift manager. How can I help you? Uh, you're you're the highest manager on duty. Yes, sir. For the whole entire hotel. Uh, for security, yes. No, I want the actual oper like for the hotel that oversees all the operations. I first need to understand what the situation is before I can pass anything on. Sure. Um, okay. Well, I actually called about three three days ago and uh, right. to try to alert your casino, the Bellagio, to a guy who's a well-known scammer that I've been de dealing with for the last three months. Uh, he scams the young kids, scams the elderly, and scams foreigners. Uh, tr saying he has this YouTube channel and he creates these 99% uh, winning Baccarat strategies, and he has this, everything's all scripted. He'll go into a hotel, and he's like, hey, I'm walking into a, uh, the 
Bellagio and a bone in the high limit room, and then he'll cut the camera off, and then he'll come out and say, look, I just won $3,000 in 30 minutes. It's, you know, this has been going on for six months now, and then while well, the casino's closed down. Um, over the six months and the last three months, I got involved, and I've caught him in over 231 lies. We've reported him to the uh, FTC. To uh, He just moved from Ohio. But he's a well-known scammer. He has a he's 41 years old. He has a career of or yeah, career, he's a career scammer with pyramid schemes, um, all kinds of other stuff. Well, now he's using your particular um, casino to to as a platform to 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 these scripted schemes. Now he's using these uh, fake testimonials. He's got these people. He charge them one thousand dollar. He calls it one thousand dollar coaching. Uh, he'll take you into the casino and coach, and then sure enough, like they miraculously always win. Every time he jumps on a table, he'll walk out and say, "Oh, look, we won. We're four for four. You know. So again, it's it's a big plotted scheme. Now I warn. Okay, Kevin. What, yeah. What's your last name? My name's Davis. Oh, David. No, okay. Kevin Davis is my last name. Kevin Davis. Okay. And what is your relationship to this individual? Uh, I don't know him whatsoever. I just look for people that are trying to scam in the gambling community. Uh, I touched on a couple of, I busted a couple of other people over the last three years. And now uh, okay. somebody passed this guy on to me and I'm like, there's no way, there's no way people can believe this guy. Well, sure enough, in the last five months, he's he's racked up over $100,000 from victims. Uh, people are coming to me now uh, telling me everything that he, the stories. Uh, he took their money. He kicked them out of their group that that he, uh, that he they paid for all kinds of stuff. Okay, and you're are you a private investigator? Or are you law enforcement? Or are you a federal nope. agent? What is nope. what just, is your just call me citizen on patrol, trying to do the right okay. thing. All right. Unfortunately, sir, there's nothing we can do against Mr. Davis without a victim filing charges against him with law, local law enforcement. He just helping people. Uh, unless he's committed a crime against our property or committed a gaming violation while on us on our property, there's nothing I can do to him. And we have to have a, a crime that's been committed in our presence. And as far as him scamming other people, we cannot do anything about that. Those folks need to reach out to the police department, file complaint against him, file charges so against him. So basically you're telling me you're, you're, you're going to you're going to continue to allow him the platform to walk into a casino and, and do his and use that as his uh his stage, his movie. Unless he's breaking the law, sir, I can't. It's a, we are, oh, we're a private business open to the public. If he commits a crime, like I said, in our presence or violates any gaming regulations or alcohol regulations, I can't stop him from coming on property and winning money. How uh, you do it to card counters? Uh, that's not true, sir. We don't escort them out. We play around them. Oh, uh, okay. And that's if we have proof of it. We have to catch them in the act actually counting cards because in technically, counting cards is not illegal. It's well, no, a scam, it isn't. yes. But it's our right as a private business to refuse ser service to anyone that we deem necessary. And again, that's because we observe the behavior. You said counting cards is a scam? I'm sorry? You said counting cards is a scam? Yes, it actually is. It's not illegal, but we do not honor that behavior on our property. If it's not uh, in our presence as a private business. I was using your brain I was using your brain a scam. What this guy's what this guy's doing is a scam. He's using your okay. platform Sir, as a scam. I'm, I'm not going to debate the two different issues. I'm no. telling you what we can and cannot do, and what I cannot do is on face value take a complaint from a third party on somebody that hasn't committed a crime against my property, and there is no legitimate subject requesting to file a complaint against him. Okay, has any of this happened in your presence? Uh, yeah. Has it happened to you? Has it happened to me? No. Does it matter, okay. though? It does, sir. Okay, oh. for me to act with my gaming licensing, okay, and for me to act as a, a private business security, I have to have a crime committed in my presence. 
I have to have somebody that has filed charges against him, and I get notified by the Gaming Control Board or law, local law enforcement that what he, the behavior that he is exhibiting is actually illegal. All right. So, so you need, basically need somebody to come forward to you guys. No. They need to go forward to the Gaming Control Board or local law enforcement. If he is doing something that's inappropriate on my property and it's observed by myself, any of the security department employees, our surveillance teams, then we will refuse some business at that time. Okay? But taking an account from a third party of something you're seeing on YouTube, I no, can't no. necessarily act you, on that because you're not a victim. You know the definition of a scam. Sir, I'm not going to debate semantics here. I'm no, no, no. You, I'm asking. I'm asking law, you. What I can and because do. a sc scamming is against the law. It's con it's using, it's creating lies. You're using lies to create an illusion that what you're saying is is the truth when it's okay. all based on Sir, lies. I don't know how else to explain this for you to understand, but I cannot act on something unless it's been identified and witnessed as a crime. Uh -huh. This gentleman. Reaching out to people off our property, okay, making promises to them, we're not victimized by. Well, well, well you just said off your property. Some of these people, some, some of these people were soliciting a third party off our property. No, no, no. Some of these people he was soliciting, soliciting while he was on your property. If we see him doing that, then yes, sir, we can act. But until we see him do this, doing that act. I can't just put a bolo out for him or go searching for this gentleman because he's also a private citizen and he has his rights to be on my property as long as he's abiding by the rules and regulations. Again, like I said, if he's observed doing it. But at the same time, any of these victims need to step forward and file complaint charges against them. Gaming Control Board would be the first group that I would suggest that they reach out to who we are in constant communications with. All right. My, my scope, my scope, okay, doesn't reach outside off our property. And so what do they he have to do? In. And what do they have to, you said contact the, the gaming board of what, Vegas or Nevada? Yes. Okay, I can't do anything about things that he's done on other properties. I can't even investigate anything outside. He's doing them at your property. property. I keep saying that. He's being, he, he keeps saying that Bellagio is his favorite property. So obviously okay. because they well, don't want to do nothing sir, about we it. We only just opened a week ago. Okay, we've been closed since March 13th. Okay, and we haven't been open until last Thursday. What does that have to do with it? So hey, if he's not on property right now doing it, okay, and I don't have somebody that's witnessing it, I mean, we have our surveillance team that does a really good job of keeping an eye on things that's going on the floor. But again, in this situation, if he, if he has done that to somebody and, made, and victimized somebody on property, this person needs to step forward and notify us while they're on property. We will get in control or at this point. We will be able to investigate it, but until we have proof an actual crime has been committed or there are charges pressed with the Gaming Control Board and they respond out here and want to investigate this individual, if he may be on property or not, they will. we can do that. But unfortunately, anything you put, I mean, it sounds like anything he's putting on YouTube is not in the gaming area. So he's being very crafty about not posting whatever illegal acts he's doing. Uh, he's posting, every time he says he walks out of the high limit room, he's posting uh, that some fake, some fake whatever, because there's witnesses that I saw that he never even played that they were there. Okay. And that he, he's, he's out filming that he did play. So that, again, it's all lies. And that's what scams are. Not, that's not against the law. Like, saying it, you do something, but you're not doing it, if there's no crime in saying that, there's no victim there. If his business, I can he, has a light, he has a business, and his business is, is this, is one-on-one -on -one coaching, selling these strategies. Okay, you can't, you can't base a business off of lies. You can't say, say all these sir, lies. That's and, something between the victim and him 
they need to report him then. If he's actually an LLC and he has a business license, then they need to report him to the Better Business Bureau. Mm -hmm. If he is conducting business without a license and people are paying him to do so, they're the victims, not me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's using the Bellagio as his platform to spread these lies and to tell these lies. Okay, but sir, do you got to understand there's a lot of folks that do that. Yeah, I don't no. have the resources nor the, cap nor the capability to chase anybody off our property or to investigate outside of our property. People use our every casino as a backdrop for a lot of things. But a lot, until they do an actual crime on our property, I don't have the abilities to go see him at home or to even to go to his home and investigate anything. Okay. I mean, what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to ask you is what is it exactly you want me to do with this individual? Uh, investigate his, what he's doing on YouTube because that's that's his platform. Showing, showing Ed, I do all this at the... Yeah, go ahead. Sir, unfortunately, though, okay, if he was doing anything illegal and he was showing it on YouTube, YouTube would shut him down. They cannot... Do, they cannot put anything out there that represents a crime. <laughs> uh, I beg to differ because this guy threatened to kill me many times on a video. Um, and it's still, there's a viral video that was two years ago. This guy said he, when he sees me, he's going to run me over with his car. That's a crime. Okay, then, then there's something, that, that's a verbal threat. That would be something that you need to go to the police for and provide them with the video. But it's not a crime to threaten somebody. It's a crime to follow through with that threat. Oh, you're trying to say... Have you been in touch with an attorney? You're trying to say it's not a crime to threaten somebody to kill them? That's not a crime? People do it all day, sir. I get threatened. My life gets threatened on a, basic, on a daily basis when they don't like being told no. Okay, well, the FBI investigated him for 18 months, and they said it was an inter okay. interstate death threat. Is a crime, so I guess maybe and you should go back to do? law school. What did they do with him, sir? Did they charge him and arrest him? Uh, no, because he fled to Mexico. Okay. And then, well, and then, then well, wait, it gets better because then he put a hit. Then he, then he put a, then he put a. Go ahead. I'm just gonna put this out there. It sounds like that you two have a personal issue between each other, and there's a, no, a sir, issue. no, sir. Bad, bad observation. I have a. Uh, History with hate, hating scammers that scam elderly, okay. that scam foreigners, and that scam innocent victims. So that was a bad and observation. I bad observation. That, but unfortunately, that has that's not something that I that I have the power to investigate. It's not again. I, I can't reiterate this enough in this, situ mm -hmm. in this situation. You need if you're in contact with any of these victims, they need a press service. Well, okay. Yep, I'll keep going and. Uh, See what kind of bad publicity you can get Bellagio from this, allowing this to happen on their property. But we're not allowing anything, sir. It's not against the law for somebody to record themselves making claims. Well, the Golden Nug the Golden Nugget Casino in Louisiana did something about it. So, um, then that's probably because there was a crime that was committed while he was on the property. Nope, they didn't want you know. Tillman Petita, I I don't think he uh, they he wants a bad rap, you know. Uh, for his well, casino, so. Well, sir, I, like I said, he has to commit a crime on my property before that I can, before I can act. Mm -hmm. All right, and it sounds like what you're doing is honorable, and I'm not trying to persuade you in that in that within that regards. But my hands are tied. Mm -hmm. I can only do so much. Unless this person's actually committed a crime on property, or I have an ag outside agency that is telling me that he has committed a crime against my property, okay? And it sounds like that if he was investigated by the FBI, they're very much aware of it. And I never said he was. I never said he was. That was another guy. Okay, then I can't keep track of who you're talking about because you just said that he was investigated by the FBI for threatening you. No, I said the guy three years ago. You said, this, you said something about uh, crime being committed. On YouTube, okay. and YouTube would say something. I said, "No, there's another guy that threatened okay. to kill me." So, okay, sir. Again, like I said, it, it's there's definitely some kind of issue with you and this other gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds like it's a very personal issue between the two of you. But it, like I said before, he has to commit a crime on our property, or there has to be a victim that comes forward. 
press the charges, and we will work with the Gaming Control Board, local law, local and federal law enforcement. Yeah, when one of his when one of his victims gets evicted during a pandemic, and he's homeless, or, the, or he's staying at his, he's a forty eight year old man staying at his mom's house because he has nowhere to go because he lost all his money to this guy from paying this guy and some other things. Yeah, I guess you can say it is personal when I hear a grown man crying. But sir, but sir, unfortunately, like, okay, what crime did he commit against us? And if he didn't report it to us, and there was nothing, not if we weren't notified. How how are we supposed to act on something that happened in the moment if the the victim doesn't know to, or make us aware of it? Uh, like you said, I mean, there's just way too many things going on that you guys can't keep track of, I guess. But uh, honestly, sir, this what is the crime with him selling his uh, expertise? That that actually has been happening for years. You got people that have made business arrangements to help people to teach them how to play poker, teach them how to play table games all around. If we catch them doing it without our permission, we ask them to cease and desist and we ask them to leave. So again, we have to have proof. Again, there is doing. no there is no expert exactly. He is doing nothing. He's not even playing. He's pretending yeah. to go in your he's going in your casino and it's all scripted. Hey I'm walking in the high roller room. He doesn't go in the high roller room. Says he walks out of the high roller room and wants all won all this money, and that he's kind of, it's his strategy is one hundred percent. He's winning all this money. It's all scripted. He's using your casino as the platform. That's what he's doing. He's not even playing. Okay, and unfortunately, unless he's taping in our gaming area and we catch him, it's not illegal what he's doing. People do it all the time on YouTube and other <laughs> social media. Well, isn't there like a thing taping in in your casino that's a privacy issue? Don't what about aren't you guys trying to protect your other patrons? Maybe they don't want to be on YouTube. If we catch them with, if they're doing it on their phone, sir, that's a little hard to prove that he's doing nothing but filming himself. If he's got a professional style camera that he's walking around the casino floor with, then most certainly we will approach. Well, we look at his li look at his last three videos. You'll see all your patrons at the Bellagio being filmed. Innocent people that that don't know their while, their, he's, on, while he's on his cell phone, correct? While he's holding the camera out, while he's holding his phone, phone out. Probably, sir. He's probably utilizing his cell phone, and I'm not going to be able to be able to differentiate him from any other person on the floor that's doing the same exact thing. So you guys don't protect your patrons from being filmed. We do, sir. We do, sir. But I gotta have a victim before I can protect him. I have to have somebody come forward and file a complaint against him, or say that he's doing something illegal, or violating our policies and procedures. I have people walking around my casino floor all day long, taking pictures of themselves, recording themselves. We're one of the biggest tourist attractions in the country. I I established that. We established that. But then you're saying victims. What if people don't know they're being filmed and they are? And then they get plastered on a YouTube video where they don't like to be filmed. Unfortunately, there's not a law against that. That unless you're walking into their private rooms and taping them without, while they're in an act of something intimate. Okay. It happens every place you go. That's an open business to the public. All right. Um, so I'm gathering that you guys don't protect your patrons from being filmed. If that's the opinion you want to take, sir, I can't. I can't persuade you from what your opinions are. Okay, I am just telling you, we do the best to protect all of our folks, but there is a limitation as to what I can do because he has rights as well. I cannot file, violate his rights either unless he's committing a crime. He's made. We're going back to the filming. You, you just said that he's not allowed to film in the gaming area. He is. He's filming in the slots area and all the other areas. But he's not, sir. That's why he shuts it off when he walks into the area where they're gaming. And then comes back out and then uses it when he leaves. It sounds like this man knows the rules, knows the, the boundaries in which he can work in, and doesn't skirt them, skirt them while he's on property. Okay? People do it every day. Okay? Unless he's at a, unless he's at a table game actively playing and he starts recording himself, that's when I can ask him to stop. 
And if he refuses to stop, then I ask him to leave. All right, well, I'll call up the gaming board and see what they say about people being filmed in the people's casinos and stuff. As well as I, I, I can pretty much tell you what they're going to tell you, sir. Oh, I know. Well, I won't take your I, word for I, it. And what was your I name again? I violate every person's right that's walking through with a camera on, or a, not a camera, I'm sorry, a cell phone. And what was your name again? On their cell phone, talking on their cell phone or video chatting with somebody else. I mean, this is this place is meant for people to come out here and have fun. If I'm stopping everybody around every corner and uh, violating their rights to do so, I mean, invited them to do so, how do I justify that? Uh, whatever, whatever way you feel fit. What was your name again? Okay. I, I gave you my name at the beginning of this conversation, sir. Oh, so you're refusing I really to give me... I feel like this is going in circles. So you're refusing I to give me your name? I have a personal... Uh, <laughs> Are you refusing to get your... This you're, the, you're the security manager that's refusing to, to give me your name as far as a possible report to the gaming board? So you're not going to give me your name Why again? Why would you report? I, I'm not doing anything wrong. So I'm not reporting... No, 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 no. No, I'm going to... So I can say who I spoke with. You can just tell me you spoke with a, a, the manager on duty at the time. Uh, so you're not you're refusing to give me your name. I guess in a sense you could say that because I'm under no obligations to give you my name. No, uh, eh, figures, figures. So yep. Okay. Yep, I'll All be. Right, uh, you have a wonderful day uh, and good luck with your pursuit and trying to catch this guy and getting justice done. Uh, it's admirable, but uh, unfortunately, like I stated before, there's a limitation to where I can act that I not also violate his rights. And until I have proof of a crime, I cannot violate his rights either. And once again, you're refusing to give me the name who I'm talking to, the manager I'm talking to. I, we've already established that, sir. I'm not going to go around circles with you on this one, okay? All right, and who's your boss? You, if you would like to speak with my boss, you can call and request to speak with the manager on duty, sir. That's your – so I just call and say manager on duty, and that's going to be automatically your boss. Uh, it'd be whoever is in charge at the time. No, I'm I'm asking who is your boss. You have a boss, right? So who? Why would you like to speak with my boss? I'm asking. Do you ha you have a boss, right? You're not the main guy in, in, that's okay. in charge, sir. Okay, this seems to be going in a direction. That no, do I you have a boss? Where it's do going do at. you have I a boss? Provided you with all the information that I can. I'm asking. Do you have matter. a boss? I'd like to and speak now, to your now boss. I'm starting to get a little harassing. No, I'm asking. Do you have a boss, and, and who who can I speak to to talk about you, your boss? That's that's how the that's how you go. That's how well if I don't get an answer from one person, then I go to their boss, and then their boss. That's how that's how things do the okay, right way. Sure. And, and you and, and now you're trying to shut it down. You. And now you're trying to shut that process down, as if I'm, I'm trying sure. to do something. I'm trying to shut down. I'm trying to give you the answers you need. And no, you you basically no, you basically you said I'm harassing you by asking to speak to your boss. Pursue. You ask. You said I was There's harassing no you by simply. You called me. You basically you insinuated that I was harassing you by asking to speak to your boss and who your boss is, so I can speak to them. I was I'm harassing here. you. Now you're here at this time, sir. I am the the leading manager on duty at this time. If but eventually they will them, be. I eventually they will here. be there. So when I I can call, I can leave a message. Hey, they can call me back. I have a problem with who I spoke with. They can call me back, but I can't even get that answer out of you because you're trying to shut it down at a, at a certain level. Like the, well, sir, the bucks, no, 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 the bucks, the, the the buck there's stops with you. Start. You seem to think that you have something that you are passionate about and that you need to report. You've reported it. I no. told you what I can and cannot do. Well, I'm not satisfied, I so I want to speak to your boss. I'd like to speak to your boss, and you're refusing to give me that. Sir, you're not a victim. Okay, you've not got any proof that what, what does that have to do with speaking crime? to your boss? What your does that opinion, have to do with speaking to your boss? Your opinion. Sir, do you have any background in gaming and law enforcement? I have a background in speaking to people's bosses if, I, if I'm so not satisfied the with their no. answers. I have a, you don't understand the, inter the intricacies? I have a master's degree in speaking to people's bosses if I don't have, if I don't like general, what they're saying. You're making a lot of personal no, oh, you called me. You said I was harassing you by just simply asking to speak to your boss. So, with that, sir, I'm going to wish you a very good day and good luck in your pursuit. I, again, 
contact the gaming control board. They'll explain all of this. Oh, I'll, I'll the contact them and I'll, I'll, uh, you know, let them hear this phone call that's being recorded. Great, and then they'll know, they'll realize that you didn't advise me at the beginning of this conversation. That I don't have to. I don't have to. One yes, party. Sir. One party is one you, party. You know the, the, the rights that you were saying about One party. Violating? One party. Yeah, I know. No, no. One party. One party, sir. I know my rights. No. Oh yeah, okay, so and you're still refusing to. You're still refusing. You're still. You're still. You're still refusing to, to give me your boss's name just so I can contact them about this call. All right, sir. You have a wonderful day. Good luck in the pursuit of your your endeavor. Goodbye. Yeah. And a lot of concerning things with that phone call, being that he's a security manager, one that he thinks. Card counting is a complete scam, which was a joke. Uh, two, that he doesn't know the definition of a, the meaning of scam and that it is against the law to scam. A scam is creating all these lies in order to, to dupe people out of their money, having them believe those lies and, and they act like they'll get something in return from their services. So that's a scam. Then at the very end, we all heard him refuse to give me his name, refuse to give me his. Uh, boss's name he was trying to shut it all down and then uh, he was a deer in the headlights when he found out he was being recorded and this call has been turned over to the Nevada Gaming Commission uh, that's about as far as I will comment on that but uh, they were not happy I can just say that much they were uh, alarmed and they were just as disturbed as I was so with that said there is something going down um, and that's about as much as I can say. Everything was turned over uh, again. Uh, and I did speak to that guy's boss, and they weren't happy with him. So with that said, anybody that you did hear from that phone call, uh, anybody that has been a victim or uh, sees them out or whatever, uh, all you need to do is contact the Nevada Gaming Commission if you were a victim. All right. If you lost money because of his services and all that stuff, because, again, it's all a scam. So you just simply get a police report or you can contact Nevada, Nevada Gaming Commission. They're very receptive. They're very extre uh, extremely receptive. All right. Because their job is to look out for people like you and to bust people like that piece of shit midget. Now, with that said, we're going to lead into a segue. Pretty funny segue. But nonetheless, a segue into uh, the finale video of Jason Sample. A lot of people are like, oh, well, he's still in the casino. Oh, well, you know, kind of he hasn't been around and he's been kind of quiet, but it doesn't mean he's not violating his probation. Well, again, we'll lead into the segue. And uh, on that note, have a great uh, Friday. I hope uh, the weekend comes on that note, y'all have a great Friday. Stay tuned. Hit that like button. Definitely hit the subscribe button because you are not going to want to miss this weekend's videos. All right. We are also going to touch on the cocaine rant from the little midget last night for those that uh, have seen it already. And uh, it was a funny, pretty funny cocaine rant. He's uh, titled, he titled Exposing the Haters. And he's like, I'm going beast mode during the video, and and I'm going to go this, and but it was all story time. It was just storytelling. There was no exposing. There was no documents. There was no facts. Just a lot of denials, a lot of lies, a lot of hey, ask Will. Hey, ask Bob Hesley. Hey, ask these guys. All right. Hey, ask people that I just met to vouch for my character. All right. So we'll dive into that more. So with that said, have a great Friday, y'all. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, take care. So yeah, everything you see on YouTube scam exposers, it's nothing but a lie, it's nothing but nothing. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stand up for a buddy of mine named Jason Sampled. Just to set the record straight as well, YouTube scam exposers want you guys to think that Jason Sample is now in prison. He's been arrested. All nonsense. 
I just saw Jason yesterday. He's happy, healthy, and killing it in the casino. So, Jason, I wish you were here with me, brother. Jason is fine. Christopher Mitchell is fine. Everything is fine in both of our lives. I just want you guys to hear it from my mouth right here. Uh -huh.